I was playing around with something just as a little little experiment. There's a alternative uh, programming paradigm known as goal direction, which has quite a few really useful uh, really useful features of it, but like anything, that doesn't mean it's all good. There are a few issues, and uh, this may be lack of an optimizer or something, so don't take it with too much salt. But, well, what I, what I did, we go into here where you can see. Normally, normally speaking, you can only write, uh, let me just do it as a comment, a single comparison. And you have to write the other comparison. What goal direction allows you to do is shorten that out to just this. Now that's just goal direction in this context. There's there's other goal direction stuff. But uh, I've implemented it. It this works. I'll show you in just a second. The one little quirk is that you have to use parentheses for uh, everything before the very last one. Uh, that's got a, something to do with the parser. Uh, but, you know, this, this does work. I think that's pretty cool. However, like any feature, just because it's useful and involves a little bit less writing doesn't necessarily mean it's a good idea to eat, to uh, to use it. Because oh my god, that is that is absolutely terrible. And I think I don't think I, the the I know why this is so bad. It's implemented using three additional uh, comparisons for that operator. One, the very first one you would expect to be called. So this would be the comparison at the absolute left of the chain. Uh, accepts two integers and returns an access to an integer. Now the reason we do this is in goal direction you're not concerned with I mean, you still are, but you you are also concerned with the um, success or failure. That's really what drives everything, is success versus failure. And so how I'm defining things here is that uh, with an access type, you can have it uh, point to null. And I'm using the null as the fail state, where any valid integer is the succeed state, along with what actually needs to be passed to the next part of the chain. So then, because this actually passes an access to an integer, we also need two other things that both accept as the first parameter, the left, another access to integer. And on the right, just an integer. The right is always an integer for ease of writing things down. So this one also returns an access to an integer uh, as the middle part of the chain. So this is the one that would repeat over and over again for very long chains. And at the very end of it, because you would have been passing access to integers across the entire thing, you have one that accepts the access to an integer and then just the integer and returns a boolean. This is the one that returns the result that the if statement then works with. There, this isn't great. Uh, this check would be done anyways, but then we're dealing with copying a value over and uh, passing around the pointer to it. Uh, here we actually have two comparisons. Uh, luckily this is a short circuit, so if this one doesn't pass it just goes straight to here, but in the case of this actually passing, which is going to happen most of the time, you have two comparisons being done, and those aren't the 
least expensive operations in the existence. And so you also have the uh, creating, copying a value and passing around a pointer to it again. And th these are, these add a lot of additional work just for slightly better syntax. So it was cool to know that this could be implemented, but you know, this, this performance is terrible. Absolutely terrible. There's one thing I can try. Uh, not like it helps all the time, but maybe. Maybe. It's worth, it's worth putting in there. And I have not done this yet, so I have no idea how well this will work. Yeah, so that's, that's that's a terrible increase. 